So we have Divine Connection. Separation. Truth. New love. Try to block your blessings. Or try to block your love life. Addictions. Use your intuition. Sagittarius. Wrong path. And then successful. So this could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. It could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and leave what does not. But you have a divine connection with um, someone. You could have been in separation from that person. Somebody tried to block your love life and you were in separation from that person. The truth came out. New love is here. Sagittarius. Addictions. Use your intuition and then wrong path. So whoever this person is that tried to block your love life, this person is dealing with some type of addictions. And then we have successful here. So you could be someone that's very successful as this person tried to block your love life. This could have been somebody that you were on the wrong path with. And this person tried to block your love life. They have some type of addictions. This could have been somebody that you, you know, let go of in the past because they had addictions. And, um... This person tried to block your love life in some type of way. You could be a Sagittarius. That person could be a Sagittarius. Um, and then use your intuition is here. So we're, I, I'm going to see what this is um, with this use your intuition. Because what I'm getting, what I'm thinking is that you need to use your intuition. If this person is someone that's trying to contact you, use what you know about that person that you were on the wrong path with. Use what you know. If this person was someone that was addicted to different drugs or obsessions, bad habits. That person is in that same energy. They try to block your love life. Because they're, you know, you moved on from that person. And it's like you started using your intuition. If this person is trying to contact you or something like that, this person, use your intuition. Use what you know already about this person that you were on the wrong path with. Because you have a divine connection with someone else. And they you've been in separation from that person. Yeah. <clears throat> Two of Cups is here. So yeah, whoever this person is that you've been in separation from, this is a divine connection. And um, you're getting ready to partner up with this person, work with this person. As the Two of Cups is in the upright, this is someone you're supposed to be partnering up and working with. They got somebody lied to this person. Two of Swords is here. They were blinded from the truth about something. And as they were in separation from you, they found out some type of truth. Yeah. Queen of Swords is here. Somebody lied to them and they cut this person off. And um, this person was just trying to block their love life. Whoever that person is. Yeah, five of wands is here. This was somebody that was secretly in competition with you. Five of wands. They were secretly copying you, trying to one-up you, trying to cause chaos and havoc. And they lied to this person to blind them from the truth. And it could have been multiple people. Could have been a couple people, them and another person with this five of wands. And, um... They went to this person and made it seem like they knew you or something like that. And they, you know, this was a, a close friend of this person that lied to them. This was a, like the person that lied to the person that you're getting ready to partner up with. They had a friend. And these are two people that don't even know you. 
they lied to this person, to a source. Both of these people made it seem like they knew you or something like that, trying to block your love life because they were secretly in competition with you. So they lied to this person and made it seem like they knew you and something like that. They could have made it seem like you had addictions or they knew something about you. And these are two people that don't even know you. The whole time, these are people that were secretly in competition with you because they knew about this divine connection. Wow. The emperor is here. Yeah, they knew this person was an emperor. They knew this person was a divine being and they knew this person was someone that had a um, ten of pentacles. So it's like they figure if they can lie on you, blind this person from the truth, they can secretly compete with you. These are people that could have been off into like divination, reading tarot, finding out people's fortune, what's destined for them, things like that. And they looked into this person's future and they found out this person was an emperor. They had a divine connection with you. So they figured that they would lie to this person. This person would be separated away from you. They had unblocked your love life. And they made it seem like, you know, this was someone, you were someone that had addictions, obsessions, bad habits, or something like that. And these two, <laughs> these two clowns don't even know you. Yeah, four of cups is here and a star card is here. It was rejected. You're someone that's a star. You're someone that's a healer. You're a spiritual teacher. So it's like these are people that wanted this person to reject you because you're this person's wish fulfillment. You were chosen to be with this person. You have a divine connection with this person. So um, I don't know how it came about them knowing that this person was attracted to you or something like that. This could have been two people that they went to and got readings or somebody they went to and got readings or something. And they could have took your picture or something like that. And these are people that got jealous and jumped at the five of ones when they found out this person was a divine uh, being. And they wanted this person to miss an opportunity out with whoever they were chosen to be with. Yeah, and you're in this star card energy. You're someone that's very successful. You're someone that's a spiritual teacher, a healer. And these are people that were envious. They were jealous of this five of wands. Here. They immediately jumped in competition trying to copy you, trying to be like you, different stuff like that. And these are people that this person rejected. They felt rejected by this person because whatever they were trying to blind this person from the truth, they didn't know that would be rejected. Yeah, Knight of Wands is here and Temperance is here. These are people that place something over this person to have sex with them. They figure they can play some type of spell work or pour something in this person's drink or something like that to get this person to be at the Knight of Wands. They mix something up as this this on this Temperance card. This person is like pouring something in someone's cup. And it's like one cup, is, it's like balancing something out. So one cup has, you know, so like fire in there. Another cup has water in there. They could have placed blood magic over this person to get this person to Queen of Wands, be attracted to them, different things like that to get this person to come in at the Knight of Wands and have sex with them. And they would have this person under some type of spell because they knew this person had a destiny. They knew that they had a divine connection with you and you were chosen for this person. Yeah, they want this person to be in an illusion and confusion. Seven of Cups is here. Because they knew this person was in love with you, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. You and this person, could the feelings could have been mutual. You, you had love for this person. This person had love for you. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. And they were trying to confuse you, trying to confuse that person. Yeah. It's like they were trying to play in both of y'all energy. Two of Pentacles is here. It's like they were going back and forth trying to play in both you and this person's energy. And they were literally wanting to be you so bad did not work everything was rejected four of cups is here it's like they felt rejected by this person because this these are people that were not you these were copycats people that were trying to catfish this person <laughs> sad yeah the death guard is here knight of swords and page of wands Yeah, so this person could have gotten some type of communication or something.
or this person could have went through a transformation. They want to just come in quick, communicate with you. Yeah, the Empress is here and Ace of Wands. They, this caused this person to go through a transformation. And they know that you and them have a, de a, a destined partnership. Yeah, the Emperor, Empress, and Ace of Wands. These are people that were pissed off when they found out you and this person had a divine connection. You and this person would uh, build an empire together. You and this person, Ace of Wands, would have kids together. Different stuff like that. This, they were pissed off when they found out all this communication. And they were trying to put an end to the uh, connection. They were trying to sabotage the connection. Yeah, Seven of Swords is here. They were at the Seven of Swords being very sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Trying to set different stuff up, thinking that they were smarter than you, smarter than this person. Yeah, to cause confusion. Yeah. They wanted this person to see, think that you were someone that was crazy. They could have wanted this person. If they, they played with spell work, they wanted this person to think you were someone that was often to plan with spell work. This is how envious and jealous. And it's like if you're playing with spell work, then why are they at the five of ones competing with you? If they didn't play, if they didn't want that person to know that they played with spell work. Make it make sense. These are people that expose their self and they did not know. It's like now they're in this nine of swords energy. A lot of people are gossiping about them. They got exposed for being at the seven of swords, sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. This is how this person is viewing them. People that are mentally unstable. People that were at the seven of swords trying to set you up. All because they were secretly in competition with you. This could have been someone that you spoke the truth about. And this emperor didn't know this person was off into playing with spell work, had them play something in their cup. They had them blinded this person from the truth and they were trying to keep this person blinded from the truth. Yeah, three of swords is here. They were at the three of swords heartbroken and they wanted you to be at the three of swords heartbroken because they expected for this, this person to be at the two of swords blinded from the truth. How dare you speak the truth to this person? How dare you speak the truth to this person and you have a divine connection with this person? <laughs> How dare you be your authentic self and this person is looking at you in the star card energy as wish fulfillment as you're chosen to be with this person? I'm done. Three of Cups is here. Yeah, they were at the Three of Swords. I mean, they were at the Three of Cups as they thought that you would be at the Three of Swords. They were celebrating, kicking it, partying, thought they had to place some type of illusion over this person as you had to been a separation from this person. Yeah, and they thought that you would be heartbroken. Did not work. <laughs> yeah, Six of Pentacles is here. Equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. You're someone that's very balanced. Whatever they did to you, it went bad. Whatever they tried to do to block your love life. Because they didn't do anything to you. They did it to their self and they did not know. They were at the two of swords blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. They were sitting back confusing their self. Placing love spells or whatever sex magic over their self. And that's the energy that they were attracting. And they were rejected by this person. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles is here. If this was somebody that this person was like in a relationship with and they walked into the relationship blinded, they cut that person off. Queen of Swords, Two of Swords, and Two of Cups. They cut that person off and realized that person did something like to confuse them because they were secretly in competition with you. Secretly thinking that they were going to walk in your divine connection with your divine counterpart. And it did not work. This person has separated their self from this person. Nine of Pentacles is here and left this person at the Five of Pentacles out in the cold. Once they had them found, <laughs> gained some some clarity. Ace of Swords is here. This is sad. Yeah, and started working on their self. Eight of Pentacles is here. This person needed to work on their self because they didn't know spell work was being placed over them. Yeah, the musician is here. They realized that they needed to work by their self in order to manifest.
Yeah, three of pentacles is here. Yeah, in order to, you know, collaborate with you or partner up with you. But I'm also getting that um, this person has somebody else behind the scenes, whoever this energy is that was trying to, uh, like, catfish this person. They um, had somebody else behind the scenes that they were working with, Three of Pentacles, doing the magic on this person. Eight of Pentacles, the magician, and Three of Pentacles, and then the hangman popped out. Yeah, they were working to keep this person stuck. Or to try to have this person stuck in the hangman energy. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. This was the ultimate betrayal. So whoever this person is that they were working with, this was somebody that was close to this person. That's why this Ten of Swords is here. This is like being backstabbed by multiple people that are close. Yeah, Four of Wands is here. And then the Chariot. After this person went through this betrayal, it's like it gave them confirmation to move forward and they're coming towards you for wands this year they're moving on from whoever these people are that betrayed them and tried to have them stuck and caught up in the hangman energy yeah the unknown card is here and then eight of cups is here they don't know that this person have walked away from a confused mindset eight of cups and then the unknown card is here yeah because they have a destiny the will of fortune is here it's like they found out that they have a destiny and a purpose elsewhere. Six of Cups is here. And then King of Swords. Yeah, they cut these people off in the past. King of Swords is here. Six of Cups and King of Swords. Let me clarify what this is. Page of Swords. So it's like they could have cut someone off in the past and they were watching. Page of Swords. Spying, stalking, observing. You could have cut somebody off in the past and they were watching you. Page of Swords. Spying, observing. This could have been a per person that they were partnering up with. The person you cut off in the past. Like why they won't get together? <laughs> yeah, Tower is here. They're sitting back going through a Tower moment dealing with an overflow of bad choices. Especially if they were sitting back trying to block your love life. It's like they were only blocking their own. By them not trying to move forward, deal with whatever that they had them put out in the past, get their karma and move on, learn their lessons, they just racked up more karma, kept their self stuck under a ten of swords. That's it. Yeah, ten of cups is here. And then the hair fine is here. Yeah, it's like this person is looking at you as wish fulfillment. I mean, they're looking at you as their ultimate happiness. Ten of Cups and then the hair fine is here. Yeah. It's like they, they look at you as someone that they want to build a family with, a future with. And they want to be in a committed a commitment with you. And these are people that were trying to sabotage it. Five of Swords is here. All because they were envious and jealous. Yeah, they thought they could sit behind the scenes, watch and spy, and they would sabotage the connection. These are people that sabotage their self. Somebody you cut off in the past, and somebody this person had to cut off because they were trying to catfish this person. <laughs> this is sad. Let me turn my light on. This is sad. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they were trying to sabotage the connection. These two people. And these are people that y'all have been isolated yourself from, laid situations to rest. And they got behind the scenes on the same agenda. Partnered up. Like, why not? Why didn't these two people partner up and get in a relationship? They're both in low vibrational energy. That's, that's why they knew that you and this person had divine connection. Your empress, their emperor. So they figure they can attach their self to high vibrational energy as they're in a low vibrational energy. And it didn't work. Yeah, judgment is here. They're sitting back receiving karma for whatever they thought they were going to do. They didn't know that they were being seen. They were under judgment the entire time. Yeah, they sabotaged their self. They have been defeated their self. 
Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, they just weighed their self down with karma. Ten of Wands and then Judgment is here. That's it. If they were trying to play in you and this person's energy, they got exposed. Yeah, Nine of Wands here. Now they're sitting back nervous. As they had to be sitting back at the nine of wands doing something over and over again to keep their self in a never ending cycle, not you and this person. And they didn't know. They're dealing with the ultimate burdens. Yeah, King of Wands is here. And then Seven of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they're nervous because this person has a lot of past. They're nervous because this person hasn't got woke. King of Wands and Seven of Pentacles. This person hasn't got woke. This person has a lot of passion for you, attraction for you. Um, this person is standing up in this energy, leading their own um, energy, leading their own life. Yeah, getting their confidence back. They were in a low confidence if they were attached to this person that was very low vibrational. They were in a low vibrational energy. If you detached from someone and they were in a low vibration, they were only keeping you in a low vibrational energy. Yeah, and it's like this person wants to come towards you because they want to invest in you or invest with you. Yeah, justice is here. They want to invest in the future with you. Yeah, this is someone who wants justice to be served for whatever happened. Um, these people trying to block your love life, block their love life. Yeah. Yeah person realized they were on the wrong path you realize you were on the wrong path as you were attached to that person you could have been in regret for a long time as you were in separation from the person that you had a divine connection with and you had a, you know was with that person that you distanced yourself from or cut off because you were learning lessons and this was once you were getting woke you were in regret like wait a minute it may have took you a long time to learn that lesson, but you started loving yourself. Ace of Cups is here. And you were more happy, Nine of Cups, by yourself, wish fulfillment, at peace, content. Yeah, and it's like your divine counterpart was watching you as wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Yeah. And this person started loving their self, Ace of Cups. These are people that are saying... <laughs> Yeah, you help this person want to grow. The strength card is here and King of Pentacles is here. As they realized they were on the wrong path with a copycat. Somebody that was catfishing them. <laughs> this person thought they were going to have victory and success with this person. And they would be able to hold on to this person's success. They knew this person would be successful. They knew this person had a divine connection. But as they were blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. They didn't know that it was rejected. with Whatever they were trying to... Uh, Hold on to this person for. They didn't know that would be rejected and they would get exposed. This person will find out the truth and cut them off. Yeah, six of swords. They say, I cannot make this up. They will distance themselves from this person, whoever this uh, four of pentacles energy is that's very needy and codependent. And they literally set this up and thought they were going to, once they found out that you were this person's twin, this person was trying to look like you, act like you, trying to get inside of your birth charts, trying to do a whole bunch of stuff behind the scenes to try to have this person in a hangman energy. And they had somebody helping them behind the scenes do the spell work. It's like one person that you detached from, they could have been trying to play spell work over you. Another person that this person detached from, they were trying to play spell work over them. And it's like they didn't know they were placing it over their self to keep their self in a never-ending cycle, not you and that person. Make it make sense. Yeah, four of swords is here. Now they're in isolation all in their head. They have to place all this spell work over their cell. Yeah, they're stuck in the hang. I mean, <laughs> they're got, they got caught up. Eight of swords is here. They, they were playing with isolation spells, binding spells, different things like that. They figured if they would wrap y'all up in some type of situation, y'all would be isolated away from each other. Yeah. How dare you cut me off and not pay attention to me after you had to play spell work over me to catfish me, to try to hold on to them. This is sad. Yeah, the her how dare you go in hermit mode and ghost me and go within to investigate and heal and cleanse yourself. <laughs> Oh, 
was so dumb. Yeah. They thought they had you and this person at a stalemate. This divine connection. Two of wands. The lovers is here. They thought they were prolonged you and this person coming in union. You and this person coming into a new contract after y'all hadn't got out of toxic cycles. They would prevent y'all from walking into a divine uh, connection. A divine contract. Yeah. The world is here. It's like y'all had the completed toxic cycle. Something had been completed. It was over. Needed to be completed. It was done. And y'all were walking into a new cycle. They tried to prolong that. They already knew once you hadn't completed a cycle, this person completed a cycle, y'all will be coming in union into this divine connection, this divine um, union. They were they, they wanted to have di you and this person at a two of one stalemate, not knowing which direction to take. And they were literally placing spell work. I can't make it up. They were literally playing with spell work behind the scenes and they wanted to keep it hidden. The moon card is here. After you completed a cycle with that person, and after uh, this emperor completed a cycle with whoever they were attached to. Uh, you could have spoke the truth about this part. <laughs> we have five of cups is here. They're sitting back at the five of cups of shame, embarrassed, and regret. Because everything was rejected. Four of cups going straight into the five of cups. They did not know that it would be rejected after you and this person had rejected these two people. Yeah. They walked straight into the five of cups and this was hidden to them. As they were trying to hide whatever they were doing in secret. <laughs> they're in regret because you could be someone that's a high priestess. As they were planning your energy, they didn't know they would get exposed. The high priestess sees everything that's done in the dark. Yeah. They will get exposed for being in this devil energy. These are people that were trying to get this person and you to stay in... Um, karmic contracts the ace of pentacles and then the devil is here yeah because they didn't want y'all to you know end out a cycle a toxic karmic cycle and walk into a new cycle they didn't want that they were trying to keep y'all in a karmic soul contract yeah knight of cups is here yeah but this person's at the knight of cups they want to connect with you Eight of Wands is here. It's like this person is coming towards you because they want to connect with you. This person hasn't found out the truth, found out what took place behind the scenes, and these are people that are sitting back nervous. <laughs> I'm so done. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. Because ain't no telling what these people have to do behind the scenes. And they're nervous. Yeah. It's like the food card is here. They realize they were on the wrong path. And they're going towards the right direction. They're taking a leap of faith towards the path that they're supposed to be on. They're getting on the journey. Walking in their calling and in their purpose. And these are people that did not know. As they were at the two of swords blinded from the truth. Yeah. They haven't slowed their self down. Trying to distract you and this person. Knight of Pentacles is here. And they didn't do nothing but slow down all movement around them because that's the only thing that they were investing in. Trying to block your love life. These are people that could have addictions, obsessions, bad habits. Like they could be on drugs. Yeah. Page of Pentacles is here. And then Page of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, whoever this person is is someone that was trying... Whoever this person that you detached from and you blocked off seven of wands is here. This is someone that was trying to act like that they, if you have a child with this person, they were trying to act like they love this child. As the page of cups in the reverse, they don't love the child. They were trying to stay attached to you because they want you to take care of them. Page of uh, pentacles is in the upright. Page of cups in the reverse. They do not even love their child. This person thought they were going to be attached to you and they would get some type of success. They were trying to attach themselves to your success. And it did not work. I'm so done. Yeah, this, everything backfired. Seven of Wands is here. They were trying to block you off and, and block that person off from your divine connection, your divine purpose, and everything backfired. They didn't know that th this purpose, this divine connection, was divinely protected. Yeah, they didn't know this Wheel of Fortune was divinely protected. 
they ran around here as if they just had they would have control over this destiny, this purpose, this spell work, and it did not work. They don't even have control over why they're here. <laughs> this is sad. They wouldn't be walking in low vibrational energy. I am so <laughs> Yeah, they're nervous because this person had them filed out the truth. This is sad. <laughs> wow. Yeah, gratitude is here. <laughs> gratitude is here. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah, this person is thankful for, uh, you know, gaining truth and clarity because purpose is here. I know what I am here to do. It's like this person knows what they're here to do, no matter if this, for how many people try to blind this person from the truth and try to catfish this person. The more and more this person was trying to act like you, it's like this person already knew. And they rejected this person. Four cups is here and then the emperor is here. They rejected this person and started healing their self, cleansing their self. So this person had to try to place something in this person's cup or they did this in the past and thought that this person would be at the tool or is blinded from the truth. And they will be, they will literally be with this person. Four cups and the emperor is here. This person that was insecure, this person that was sitting back placing spell work over them to get them. This is sad. I'm done. <laughs> they will be with this four cups energy. And then they will walk straight into the five of cups with that energy and regret. As they're in an illusion and a confusion, not even get, being able to get to their ten of pentacles or their destiny and their purpose, stuck in a karmic soul contract. And it's like they thought they were going to be attached to this will of fortune and this divine connection, and they would think that this person was walking into a divine connection with them. This other person thought that they would be walking into a divine connection with you, and everything backfired because that's divinely protected. Seven of Wands is it? Make it make sense. Perseverance is here. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah, this person realizing whatever they, you know, went through, they needed to go through this because it's making them realize they can do whatever they set their mind to. As they were in a toxic cycle, this person needed to regain their strength, rebuild their confidence, their self esteem, because you'd be stripped. As you under a ten of swords curse and hex, being betrayed, backstabbed multiple times. And you don't know this. Once you heal and get yourself grounded and get out of that never-ending cycle, you're not going to have to go through that anymore. You've learned your lessons. You have to sit back and reevaluate why were you attracting that type of people that just backstab you and use you, take your kindness for weakness. But it was a lesson that you needed to learn. Yeah. Because these are people that place you in an illusion and confusion. Imagination is here. They confuse you. And you're trying to figure out why were you even attached to this person that long? Because it was a valuable lesson that you needed to learn so it would never happen again. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Imagination. Yeah. And then growth is here. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So as this person was in a, you know... Found out they were in an illusion and a confusion. All they were thinking about after that was growth. Gaining their strength back. Recharging their energy. Getting woke. Learning how to protect their energy. Learning lessons so it won't happen no more. Yeah, love is here. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Yeah, after they learned the lessons, they appreciated that. That main lesson was they needed to stand up and love their self. Finally show their self some love. And that could have been the same lesson that you needed to learn too. Yeah, because it will keep you under judgment. Keep you going through karma. And you will be questioning yourself. You know, you're good to everybody. Why are you going through this? Why are you constantly running into people that backstab you? Because these are people that you were in a never-ending cycle, karmic soul contract with. And you just didn't know. You were blinded from the truth. Until you got woke. Yeah, judgment is here. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. And you realize why it took so long. Why that lesson took so long. Patience is here. I accept that everything happens in divine order. You needed to have patience. Temperance is here. You needed to balance yourself out. Ground yourself out. 
Balance out masculine and feminine energy. Heal yourself. Cleanse yourself. Meditate. You need to connect. Pray. Be sincere. What what it what does what is what is it <laughs> that you want out of life for yourself? Yeah, happiness is here. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So you're able to sit back and laugh at whatever it is you you went through, not being bitter, not being pissed off and mad. Forgive, but never forget, because that was a valuable lesson that you needed to learn. So it would never happen again. Yeah, surrender is here. I can release my need to control. These are people that are, you know, have to surrender. They were trying to control something that they didn't even have control over. They don't even have control over the energy that they're walking in. And they're in regret. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. These are people that are in regret. And in fear. <laughs> yeah. And then forgiveness is here. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So it's best to forgive a person. So you can be happy. And you don't have to call them, I forgive you for everything. You sincerely forgive that person so you can be happy within yourself. Holding on to bitterness is holding that negative energy attached to you too, from what that person had to took you through. Yeah. I'll put one more. Relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So as you were in a relationship with different people that were very low vibrational, you no longer attract that type of energy. As you're in a high vibrational energy, you're attracted to people that serve your higher good. That's why none of this stuff could hit you in this person and it was rejected. And it did not work. 